Okay, this is a situation to where we've had a leak. Uh, this is our third visit uh, on this roof and there's nothing obvious uh, wrong with this roof. So we're having to do a water test. Now, keep in mind that, you know, when, when, when we do these, these types of repairs on leaks, you know, we get about 98% of them the first time, but there are a few that we run into that are uh, or that prove out to be real difficult to uh, problems to solve and uh, we have to really dig in and water test you have high winds uh, driving rain that sort of thing that sometimes uh, plays a part in a leak uh, making it difficult to uh, to solve the problem so we have a guy in the attic in this case and then we have another man on the on the roof that's uh, that's applying the water and we're trying to force the leak uh, since we haven't been able to uh, locate the source of the leak so just remember that if we do uh, leak repairs uh, you know uh, on a roof and and you've had a problem there make sure that uh, that the leak is stopped before you do any interior uh, uh, sheetrock work or painting uh, just to make sure that the problem solved. Sometimes the hose doesn't even uh, guarantee that that the problem is solved. Uh, so nothing. There's nothing better than a good driving rain to uh, to seal the deal, if you will. So this is a, again our third attempt on this roof. We have two vents in the area, and uh, something's causing a problem here. And we're we're at a loss right now to figure it out. But this is not not real common to have this kind of a problem occur. Uh, so remember when you're having a, a leak problem uh, and some, some people out there have, have had two or three roofers out to, to uh, try to solve the problem and they get tired of calling one back so they call somebody else and, and uh, we like to try to put an end to it if, we, if at all possible. You know, if, if we have to tear the whole roof apart in the area to, to find the, uh, the cause of the leak, we'll do that. So uh, there you go.